We've got game one of the National League Division Series. It's the Reds taking on the Giants. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. Yeah, electric stuff and just great fastball, able to move it around the zone, has that late life to it. It's not uncommon at all to see him get up in the double-digit strikeouts in a ball game. And I, I think the one thing about it is getting quicker. Strikeouts rather than lengthy at-bats. That'll allow him to pitch deep into the ball game and maybe throw a complete game. The Bambino Perez. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. There's a swing and a drive. And it's out of here. He'll circle the bases and we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your... Runner at first with two away. Here's a big power oh, threat. The Bambino <laughs> Perez. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. The 1 0. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. Perez around third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So they get one run on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Three innings complete. The Giants on top three to one. Now here's the switch inning power threat, the Bambino Perez. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Perez measures six feet even, 32 years old, and he's a former National League MVP. He swings and fouls one off. And that one is lifted in the air. Jones flying after this one. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And his third hit of the game is a triple. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Roger Connor. And a base hit on a line. In comes the run from third. It's 4-3. Save! Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. To the batter now. The Bambino Perez. 
the pitch. And a swing and a miss. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. They're hitting over 600 in this game. Oh, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap, and he's got a double, his fourth hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So, man aboard, well, Roger man. Connor getting ready to hit. One for three. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. That's in for a strike. And the throw, he's out of third. That's just a poor decision right there, and I'm sure somebody's going to talk to him when he gets back into the dugout. You have to understand who's at the plate. And it's pretty early in this series to say a must-win game, but when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Just about ready to go and towing the slab in this one number 28 four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back A little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. And first offering is fouled off. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. We played an inning, no score. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, the Bambino Perez. The pitch. Ripped to short, now a jump throw. Not in time, he's safe. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. Roger Connor now at the plate. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Runner on the go. Line drive, base hit. They get the force. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Wow, this is one of those plays that... Now it's the power-speed combo. The Bambino-Perez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One gone runner at first. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. It's a pitch out. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, these guys were right on top of it. They guessed right on the first pitch pitch out. Tells me they had some good data or scouting report. Maybe it's just a feeling, but either way, perfect execution. Great throw and tag, and they erased that runner at first. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, the Bambino Perez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Fires over to first. 
And that's the third out. So this is what you call taking care of business. When you've got home field advantage and you win the first two games of the series, that's what you come to the ballpark to do. They've worked hard to get to this point. Now they're in the driver's seat. We'll see how they do once this series continues. But so far, they've set the tone. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close. Just about ready to go. And towing the slab here, number 32. Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Down the third baseman, number 32. One down. And now the... Big time power threat, the Bambino Perez. Big time power. He was late there, strike one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You gotta make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's gonna be. There's one. Double play. What a quick killing to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Back now from Hilldale Park. Today's starting pitcher, Mickey Welch. Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at-bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to. And first offering is fouled off. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Into center, Jones gets under it, makes the catch for the out. Man at second here with two away. And now the DH, the Bambino Perez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of his zone. Hitters have to respect. Oh, that ball finds its way into the outfield. A base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. And they lead by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Roger Connor will hit next. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. He's going, he's going, Runner takes off. Pitching for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Man on second, two down. Runner on the go again. Throw to third. Save. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Two outs. That one missed. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Let's go now, one time. And the 2-2. Two -two. Got it. That ends the frame. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Giants on top here, four to one. Now it's the DH, the Bambino Perez. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And it's fouled away. 
Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've already earned five walks in the game, and of course, that's providing them with a lot of ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And the old one. He's trying for third. And safe. It's a stolen base. That stolen base right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And now the shortstop, John Ward. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. That's a base hit, run scores. Waste no time there. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed. Back at Hilldale Park. Now at the plate, the Bambino Perez. A wind of the pitch. Strike one. This one high in the air to left center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One away. You win a National League Division Series, you can breathe a little bit as the next one will stretch out to possibly seven games. I'm sure they don't want to take it that far, but they're just going to be happy to get there. Congratulations, guys. Our final line score first.